Okay, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. So the first question is asking uh, for a period uh, for a periodic process the number of cycle per unit time is called the what? So we have wavelength, frequency, period and energy amplitude, right? So cycle per unit time. So number of cycle per unit time. So which which one is related to unit time per time? And if you think about this, only frequency gives us that value. Like frequency is number of cycle per time, that is one over period, right? Frequency, let's check other things. Period is what? Period is just time. So it's just second. And wavelength is just the length. Energy is not related to these things, right? Cycle per time. Amplitude also the distance. So from this one we definitely know the frequency is the answer for this question and f is equal to 1 over t and that's the thing is important to answer this question. And the second question is asking the mass on a spring undergoes simple harmonic motion. When the mass is at its maximum displacement from equilibrium, it's instant what is the what is the velocity of it is it is. So let's see. Let's put the equation for the displacement first. So equation for the displacement is x is equal to a cos omega t. So maximum displacement mean what? So when we have distance times graph, that wave is going to be something like this. And maximum displacement, this is the maximum displacement. That is equal to amplitude at the time. And here this cos omega t, this value is 0, that's what make this one 1, because cos 0 is 1, right? So cos 0 is 1, and that's what make this one x is equal to a. So at maximum point x is equal to a, this omega t is equal to 0. And they are asking what's the velocity at that point. To find the velocity, I have to get the velocity equation. Velocity equation is simply the derivative of this equation. So let's find the derivative of this equation. So velocity equation is going to be derivative. So the derivative is minus a omega sine omega t, right? So here a sine a omega instead of omega t, if I plug zero, we know that omega t is zero at this point. Plug zero, what's going to happen? Sine zero is zero, right? So if I multiply everything by zero, this whole thing will become zero. Therefore, the zero is the answer for this question. And the third one is asking uh, a factory siren indicating the end of the shift has a frequency of 80 hertz. So factory. So this is the one that is producing the producing the sound. So this is called the source. So this is F source. What frequency is perceived by the occupant of a car traveling towards the factory at 30 meter per second? So the question is asking what is the frequency observed? The frequency observed by the person, right? And the person observer is traveling with a velocity of 30 meter per second. So we can say VO. And then and the speed of the sound in the air is 343 meter per second. So let's say that's V. Now we can use the Doppler's effect equation. Doppler's effect equation is that f observer is equal to f source multiplied by v plus or minus v observer v plus or minus v source. So here source is not moving. Source is in the same place because it's just a factory, right? So it's not moving. So we can kind of get rid of this Vs because it's not going to be present. And then the question is asking to find the F4. Let's plug all the values. We have Fs that is frequency that is the frequency of the source that is 80 hertz. 80 hertz right here. And velocity V is simply the velocity of the sound. That's 343. And now we have to decide an observer's velocity is 30 meter per second. Now we have to decide 
we do we have to put plus or minus to do that we have to think about a little bit think about this one a little bit and here we go this car is traveling toward the factory so when we turn a car so let's say this is our car right here and factory right here so when it's travel towards a factory what's going to happen to the wavelength as it goes toward it the wavelength decreases right so v is equal to f lambda f is equal to v over lambda so if the lambda value decreases what happens to this frequency value if you divide by smaller value you will get a bigger value right so frequency increases or you can say inversely is inversely proportional right so if this one decreases this one increases therefore we have to put a value that make this frequency increases so here this is in the numerator so if i put plus that will increase the value so that that's how we put the values right in the bottom is just going to be the velocity of the sound so that's going to be 343 so let's do the calculation this is going to be 80 times 373 divided by 343 and if you calculate this value you will get roughly 86.997 hertz and that's near to 87 hertz so 87 hertz is the answer for this question i hope you guys like this video see you next time